One of the reasons I really like being a gay parent is I think it provides me opportunities to educate and inform other people. Being part of a rainbow family gives me an uh, opportunity to be a positive role model. I have two children and I'm married, I have a husband, I also have a girlfriend and Jack lives with me as well because he's my super best friend in the world and he also helps me co-parent my children so it's kind of a queer poly situation with another queer human in the mix. One of the things I'd like people to know about being a queer parent or part of a rainbow family is that it's pretty boring sometimes. <laughs> we still have to make the bed, we still argue about who's making lunches, we still have to buy groceries, we still spend too much time on the couch, on our phones. There's lots and lots of normal things about our family structure. Being a queer parent to me means letting your kids experience life how they want to, letting them be raised in an accepting and open environment where they can talk and question things with their parental figures without the fear of judgement. And one of the things that I'd also like you to know is that it would be really appreciative if people didn't make assumptions about my family structure. Lots of the time I get asked what my husband does or who is my husband. And an easy way to change that is just to ask who my partner is or my significant other. As a queer parent, some of the things I wish that people wouldn't say or do would be assume that they understand the structure of my family or that the structure of my family is not beneficial to my children. I also wish that people didn't automatically assume that because I am married to a man with children that are biologically his that I am straight because I'm I'm not I know that it's a very easy thing to do you see a woman and a man and two children and they're married and living together and so you're like oh, it makes sense that they'd be straight but it's really disheartening to feel like I don't belong in my own community because I live in a married relationship but I'm also I'm polyamorous my husband sees other people I have girlfriends and we have Jack who lives with us in a completely platonic life <laughs> make that clear he's part of my family's like Love them very heaps. Yeah. <laughs> Once in the supermarket, the checkout guy went, oh, You don't look gay. She, I could tell straight away, is gay, but you, you, I had no idea. Some kind of accusation that I was tricking him into thinking something different. I get it that you could look at me on the street and have no identity markers. I think the challenge in general is to expand their choices of options. So queer parenting means to me doing whatever feels right for your family and showing your children that you can have separate identities and that there is more outside of the super normal one mother one father. Essentially we have two father figures in our family and two mother figures and it's all a great little bundle of weirdness. <laughs> I love being a queer parent because I like watching these kids try and develop and experiment with stuff. The two boys, both of them have experimented with makeup because they see me do it. They just take it as a normal and they haven't gendered makeup. A lot of the time if you let your child express themselves in whichever manner they want, people will assume that they're mirroring your behaviour. People assume that I'm pushing my values as a queer person and a queer mother on the children, whereas I'm not, I'm just trying to let them be who they want to be. Queer parents are doing their very best to raise good people just like any other parent. I think that's really important to know that if you would like a family then that's really possible. There's been generations where they don't feel that's been possible. There's a level of empathy there for me. I feel really blessed to be a parent and I feel really blessed to have the life that I've got and I feel very, very grateful for everybody that's gone before me that's made my life as safe as it is right now. That's not always super safe. I still don't want to do some things that I would have if I was dating a guy, but I feel very lucky. The future for people under the umbrella of rainbow is much more positive than it ever has been before. I know that I'm doing my very best to bring up open-minded, non-judgmental, beautiful human beings. As a queer parent, I enjoy it because I'm equipping my children to be beautiful, well-rounded humans. Relax into who you want to be. Know that it doesn't have to be forever. At the end of it all, if you're struggling with your identity, find somebody or get some help. It will, it will be fine.